So we're in a 73700 of British Midland. It's climbing through 28,000 feet. The 73400 flying from Heathrow to Belfast. In 1990, this was the state of the art. Looks like we're quite happily set up in the cruise. All looks quite happy at the moment. Right, so now suddenly we've got smoke in the cockpit. All right, there's smoke and vibration. We've got a problem. The very first thing we're going to be doing is putting the oxygen masks on. The priority is just to make sure that we can communicate, we can breathe. Can't see anything on the dial. Nevertheless, we've still got a problem. As pilot and aviation journalist Dave Unwin isn't a 737 captain by trade, he is relying on the information provided in his pre-flight document. It is here he discovered that cockpit airflow in previous models of the 737 came from the right-hand engine. So I'm going to throttle number two engine back. The smoke already seems to be dying away. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Having declared an emergency to air traffic control, Dave has decided to divert to East Midlands Airport, which is 20 nautical miles southeast of his position. Right, I'm way too high. I'm going to need ATC to vector me around a little bit so I can lose some more altitude. Definitely need to keep the descent rate coming down. Having spent 15 minutes gliding the descent, air traffic control have vectored Dave comfortably to the airport. Got the runway on the nose now. Basically, I've managed to glide all the way on to final approach, and I haven't touched the engines at all. Speed is good. A bit more flap. I'm going to add power to maintain, say, 160. The left engine seems to be running down. I haven't got time now to restart the right engine. It's going to take at least two minutes to spool back up. Speed is slowly bleeding away. I'm not going to make the runway. 